Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, we'll be talking about the int built-in Python method. This Python method is really easy to understand and by the end of this video, you should be able to easily incorporate it within your programs. So in this video, we're gonna be using the Python console. The way you access that within PyCharm is by coming all the way down to the bottom left-hand corner and clicking Python console. Now, if you're not using PyCharm, you can go to your terminal and type in Python, and you'll be able to use the same exact notation that we are in this video. So the Python int function, what it does is converts a string object into an integer object, and it's used a lot within programming. So let's say we were grabbing some user's input, and they entered in some number on a range from, let's just say, 1 to 10, and how they were feeling for the day. So let's say this user put in 10, you know, they're just feeling great. So we hit enter, and now we have this input variable as 10. Now, if you're running through a bunch of if statements and wanted to see if this number was greater than eight, if we were to run that, there's no way for the Python interpreter to compare an integer to a string. So what we would have to do is say that new input equals, and then we'll use the integer function by typing in int, but the open and closing parentheses, and then we're just gonna type in our old variable. So now if we type in input for the old one, you'll see that we get a string value, but if we now type in new input, the one that we ran through the int function, we have a 10. So now that we converted the user's input into an integer value, you're able to use if statements to find whether or not it's within some range, or we can perform basic math operations on the user input. So that's it for this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.